Hello, everyone. How are you doing? So it's now about seven weeks, isn't it, Babs? It's seven weeks. Seven oh. weeks, yeah. I'll tell you what we're really excited about. We've got a chicken fillet. <laughs> so we tried this yesterday in Atlanta, didn't we? Uh, we chicken, did. Oh, gosh, I think I'm addicted already. <laughs> so anyway, we've got a bit of lunch and we've got some stuff to show you. Uh, look, this is what a chicken fillet chip looks like. It's like a waffle. It is like a waffle. It's isn't it? really nice. Um, but I'm not getting paid by Chicken Filet, by by the way. But I just met a couple of really nice <laughs> girls in there. Um, and I, so we're on the road. And uh, big shout out to Emily if you follow him, um, who are going to follow us on YouTube. So we've got a couple of things we're going to show you today. But the first thing is we found an app, haven't we, Gary? Yeah, you tell them. Yes. So I found this app and it's called Travel Boast. Um, uh, but the best thing about it is it, it shows you the journey we've done in animated form. And we're going to put that in the videos now so you can see where we've gone since the last time yeah. we videoed. We're going to have some lunch now first and then we'll finish off this video. But see you in a bit. <laughs> Amazing, nearly as amazing as our chicken fillet that we just ate. <laughs> uh, it's gorgeous. Um, so, how far have we done in miles, then, babes? Right. So, so far in miles, we've done three thousand two hundred and seventy-eight miles, which works out to be five thousand two hundred and forty-five kilometers, wow. which is quite a lot. And in that time, I filled up ten times. But get this: that ten times filling has only cost us four hundred and seventy pounds. So let's show you what we've been up to. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we went to this really, really strange place. And I haven't really known what to do with this bit of a video. And I've had to clip this right down because I'm a bit like, this is quite freaky. So I'm just going to give a little bit of a warning out there. Warning, warning, warning. Um, if you're watching this, this is the Museum of Wonder. Um, and it's supposed to be a drive through, but you can't actually get your car through there. Um, and it's just outside of Columbus in Georgia. I was absolutely like, what? Have a look at this. So we found this really mad little drive through. Like it's a museum of what is it? Of wonder. Yeah, oh God. So there's all sorts of little bits and pieces in here. Oh, what's that? Like skulls? Yes. It's like bones. Yes. It fell from out of space and landed in Pittsview. Craw ball. Oh, it's quite macabre, isn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, let's go in. It's just drive through, but I don't think we'll get the motor home in here. And it looks like it's a load of <laughs> make cornbread, not war. Hell yes. Make loads of cornbread, please, and send it to me because we are loving cornbread, aren't we, Gary? Yes. So, what we got here? So, here's the first one. Oh, gosh, what is it? I think they're taxidermied chicks. What? As in stuffed chicks. I know what they are. <laughs> Do you think they're real? They're oh, not yeah. real. Of course they are. Look at the legs. Are you serious? Yeah, they're all real. Oh, God, I think that's quite weird, actually. I don't know what we've come to. I don't know what we've become. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this, like, taxidermied as well? You can see the tail. It is taxidermied. It's sewn up. What? Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that's not. <laughs> so, this one here says, The Doctor cut her behind the rib bone and he came out with the world's largest gallstone. Oh, that's the gallstone in the middle. World's cut largest gallstone? Cut from a woman in Albany, Georgia. May the 16th, 1972. The woman weighed 721 pounds. The gallstone weighs in at 18 ounces. What? I don't even know if this is real. Right, what's in this one? A snake. What? Good Where? wholesome. <laughs> Good wholesome. Beneficial felicitous. <laughs> no idea. Well, these are jarred snakes. Oh, that's really weird. Oh, God. Are they real? Are they real? Yeah. Yeah, they're pickled. You don't even seem phased. It's like you've got your own little collection of weird pickled stuff. <laughs> so this one's got crystals in. There's a big old shark's tooth in there. 
three-year-old alligator head. Is, that's not a real one, though, yeah? Yeah, it's a real one. Is it? Yeah. How can you tell? I can tell by the skin and the fact that it's been taxidermied. Oh, God. Who's doing all this, dear? It must... Oh, oh my gosh, what's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> what is that? A unicorn. A <laughs> unicorn? <laughs> That's it's like the most, that's the unicorn of nightmares. <laughs> They're amazing, like little balls, like bomb balls that are all over the place with things written all over them. And some of it's quite hilarious. It's time to swap, spit, and hit the road. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's so thick headed, you can hit him in the head with a what? With the tyre iron, and he won't, tyre iron, he won't yell till morning. Oh, okay. We've howled, but we haven't shook. There's some really good ones as well. I would rather have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. <laughs> you are what you think. <laughs> she got the gold, I got the shaft. Oh dear. Rode hard and put away. Ooh, I'm saying that. So we've had a great week um, and we've just visited Atlanta. And yesterday we were really lucky. We went to Coca-Cola and a friend of mine, Mark, hello Mark, um, sent us some uh, VIP tickets and we went and seen some, uh, went to the museum. It was really good, wasn't it? It was really good, yeah. And we, we also got to, got to hold the Olympic torch from the 1996 Olympics here in Atlanta, which was apparently held by Muhammad Ali. I mean, we don't know if it's the actual baton or not, but but we were happy with it, weren't we? It was really fun. Um, and then you go to a tasting bit at the end. Okay, so that's a bit grim. So there's loads of different flavours that Got you... Got to be 30. Right. 30 different flavours. And they're all things like pineapple flavour, Fanta, and weird tea stuff. And honest to, honest to goodness, by the time we got through it, we were tasting loads of it. I was like, oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's even worse. That's even worse. And then we got to the Coca-Cola stand itself and it was like, oh, thank God, we'll just have normal Coke. So I had a little bit of that. And then we, we scooted off, didn't we? And we went to the aquarium. Oh, it's amazing. It Absolutely was, amazing. It was beautiful. Now, I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did. Um, but I'm just going to show you a couple of clips from the aquarium. Just sit back, relax and enjoy amazing we just really enjoyed it it was amazing and so one of the people um that watched our last video and that was our tour of the van if you haven't seen the tour of the motorhome i'll pop the link in on this video here and have a good nose around we show you all the nooks and crannies um but well, we don't really but um we showed you the tidy cupboards to be fair um anyway so julie asked us how do you make the bed up so for you julie as promised here is Gary making our bed up. Put the bed together now. Down here, always do this side first. And there. And there goes in there. Jump on here, and then I start taking these cushions off of that side. Just lay them there. Then unlock this cupboard here and pull that out slide this across and that goes underneath the cushion there and on top of the base just make sure that's out there now this three arm cushions here these are important so they fill this gap so I normally do it like that like that and then like that this bit the arm cushion goes on there because that gives me a bit of extra space this back on here this bit in there and then fill the gap with this bit here and then finally this bit there and that's the bed put together wow so gary does that every single night does it bother you doing it <laughs> not really <laughs> goodness um, so that's us really for today apart from to say 
what we're doing in the next few days. So we're off to, uh, I know this sounds really weird, a Sasquatch farm this week and then a hemp farm. It's a good job we're not doing the hemp farm first, otherwise we might see a few Sasquatches. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know what to expect, but hopefully we can uh, show you on the next video. I'm also going to do a bit of shopping in Walmart, so I'm going to show you the prices of some food on the next video. So if that sort of interests you, make sure that you hit that subscribe and you can press the bell thing. So if you press the bell thing, it gives you a notification, apparently, to say that one of our videos is up live. So if that's your kind of thing, give it a ding. Um, <laughs> but subscribing is free, of course, and it just means that you will, you're will um, one of our community and we'd love to have you along. So until next time, we'll see you soon. Love you loads. Take care. Bye-bye all.